Now, people are in mourning and shock after police say a man killed at least 10 people and wounded 10 others in a mass shooting in a predominantly Asian suburb of Los Angeles. Officers say he took his own life as SWAT team members surrounded his van just hours after the attack. NBC's Jay Gray is in Monterey Park, California, near the scene of where this happened. Additional units requested multiple victims, gunshot wounds. A spray of gunfire cuts through a packed Monterey Park dance club. The scene chaos as police first arrive. And my young officers did their job, searched for a suspect, and then came back and had to deal with the carnage that was inside. And it was it was extensive. Ten dead. 10 more wounded. The suspect, according to police, on the run, showing up at a similar ballroom in nearby Alhambra about 20 minutes later where he's confronted by people inside the club. And he was disarmed uh, by two community members who I consider to be heroes because they saved lives. As he escapes, witnesses get a glimpse of his vehicle. They have this white cargo van completely surrounded right now. Police tracking it down 12 hours later in Torrance. They're breaching the van. Inside, 72-year-old Hu Can Tran, the man police say is responsible for the killing spree, dead from what appears to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. According to investigators, evidence inside the van ties Tran to both locations. What it doesn't do is help to explain how or why it happened, and it does little to ease the concerns of this frightened, grieving community. Hearing this happen now is just very shocking, very, very... Um, very sad, you know, um, because you, you, it's just confirming that there's no safe place anymore. We ask for your mercy and to those Jay Gray, NBC News, Monterey Park, California. Once again, 10 people dead in that attack. Investigators have not released the names of any of the victims, though they are still working to notify next of kin, the families first. Police say five are men, five are women, describing them as, quote, probably in their 50s, 60s, and beyond.